America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States Secret Agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to Secret Agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in Special Agent B-9 for assignment. At once, K-7. Special Agent B-9 reporting for duty. Agent B-9, some time ago, at my direction, Special Agent Z called upon a Chinese patriot named Wong and asked a favor in connection with the apprehension of a spy. Wong granted us that favor. Now, it is our turn to repay him. This cablegram arrived this morning. Wong asks my help. I'm sending you to him at once. Report to me when you have completed your mission. Gratitude is the mother of virtues. I am grateful you have made so long a trip to come to the aid of this person. Miss Drake and I are entirely at your service, Mr. Wong. Thank you. I see by the young person's lovely eyes that she wishes to ask what your task will be. <laughs> That's true, Mr. Wong. But I remember that in your country they say the over-curious are not over-wise. Good. You know the words of my ancestors. Make yourselves comfortable, and I will tell you what is puzzling me. Go ahead. We're ready. Somewhere in this great city, there is one who is betraying our cause. He has sold his soul to our enemies. His name must be made known to me. You want us to find a traitor? Yes, Miss Drake. You are sure he is here in this city? Yes, of that there is no doubt. This city is now one of the most important in our republic. Almost daily supplies for our armies come to this point. It is necessary for us to store large quantities of arms here. I can readily understand that. We have tried in every way to keep the knowledge of where our munitions are stored a secret. Yet each time a warehouse is filled, it is bombed by our enemies within a few hours. Someone is sending out information, telling which of your buildings are being used as ammunition dumps. Yes, Mr. Special Agent. We have even tried to deceive the spy, but we have failed. Yesterday, arms arrived here early in the morning. We stored them in one building. Last night, when it became dark, we moved all to another building. Yet, within an hour, bombing planes arrived and destroyed the new hiding place. How long has this been going on? Nearly three months. It must be stopped. Otherwise, our cause faces disaster. I want to see the ruins of that last building. My assistant, Miss Drake, is tired from her long trip. I'm going to send her to our hotel. No, B-9. Yes, Rita. There'll be plenty for you to do later. Mr. Wong, will you take me to the ammunition dump that was destroyed last night? Perhaps there will be something there that will give me a clue. We will start at once. few minutes later, Agent B-9 viewed the ruins of what had been a great warehouse. Its destruction was complete. Four powerful aerial bombs had made direct hits on the building. It's amazing. At least four bombs struck this building, yet none was dropped on other warehouses in this neighborhood. The bombers were sure of their target. It has been so in every case. One thing to be thankful for, the loss of life couldn't have been great. Not many people live near this section. Three of my countrymen joined their ancestors. Two were employed in the warehouse. The third was a soldier who guarded his sentence. Look, a girl crying. It is written that tears are the overflow of the heart when sorrow has made it too full. Wait, I'm going to talk to her. Why are you crying? Please, go away. It is better to leave the sorrowful to their sorrow. I only want to help you. What is your name? It is Kai. Kai, and you are here because someone you loved was here last night when the bombers came? He was my husband. I see. You were not here with him. No. I tried to come. I had the air raid sirens. I ran for here. I saw the red glow, and I knew the bombs would drop. Red glow? Did you see a red glow before the bombs started falling? Yes. There was a red glow on the roof. I saw it because I was coming to my husband. No one else was on the street. A red glow before the bombs fell. Thank you, Kai. Perhaps you have served your country. (laughs) 
A red glow before the bombs fell. Agent B-9 questioned many people during the day. That night, when the air raid siren sounded, he and Rita were the only ones who did not seek shelter. Instead, they watched as another warehouse filled with munitions was destroyed. After the raid, they talked with Mr. Wong. You come with news? Yes, Mr. Wong. Another of your great warehouses was destroyed tonight during the raid. It was the one in which the munitions were stored this afternoon. That does not surprise me. I heard the silence. I can tell you how the enemy bombers know which of your buildings to destroy. A small torch of red fire, the kind your people use during funerals, is lighted on the roof of the building to be destroyed. The enemy bombers need only to fly over and bomb the building where they see the red fire burning. You are sure of what you say? Each of the warehouses is guarded. How could the red fire be lighted? One man has been at each of the warehouses before each fire. You know him? Yes, and so do you. Mr. Wong, you are one of the patriots who arranges for the purchase of war supplies from the outside world. It is true. You work with two others. An army officer and a banker. You have gathered much knowledge. The banker buys the munitions. Naturally, it would not arouse suspicion if he entered the warehouses where they are stored. It would be dangerous if you are in error, Mr. Special Agent. I am not wrong. Tonight I saw him. Think a minute. The money the banker pays out to buy war supplies is given to him by your nationals. It comes from your people in every city in the world. It's not his money. He makes no profit in handling it. No more do I make profit for the work I do. But if the banker was also working with your enemies, he would be paid well for information. The money he received would make him poor, not rich. Perhaps by your standards, Mr. Wong. You are a patriot. Tonight, Miss Drake and I saw a red flare go on the roof of the warehouse that was destroyed. A moment later, the banker who works with you ran from the building. The streets were deserted. No one saw him but us. That's true, Mr. Wong. I followed him to his home while B-9 stayed at the warehouse. Mr. Special Agent, tomorrow new munitions arrive. I shall be ready. You and your charming companion will meet me here and we will dine. After dinner, I will show you the justice of the eat. Next evening, Agent B-9 and Rita dined with Mr. Wong. Before they finished eating, it grew dark, and they started for the home of the banker. Mr. Wong ordered the rickshaw stopped a block from the house. There they waited until the distant air raid siren sounded. The air raid signal. The bombers are coming. We will not have long to wait. Rita, I'd feel safer if you took shelter. This part of the city has never been bombed. I'm going we... to stay here, B-9. I think she will be quite safe. Soon we should see my countryman come to his home. I have made sure he is not already there. You saw my servant speak to me? Yes, I wondered at the time. He told me what you already know. The banker was at the warehouse checking the supplies that arrived today. Well, then they'll be destroyed. Perhaps not. We will wait and see. You won't have long to wait. They're coming. So also is my countryman, the banker. See, his car has turned into his garden. The planes are headed for the warehouse. No, wait, they're circling. B-9, look. There's a red glow on the roof of the banker's house. It just started. Look, Mr. Wong, someone tried to flare on the roof. Yes, my servant has performed his task well. The red flare on the warehouse no longer burns. Instead, a red flare burns here, on the home of the man who betrayed friendship and country. The bombers are circling overhead. But they're dropping bombs. penalty of treachery is death. It is a law of the East. Our work is done. Come, let us return to the sweetmeats of our unfinished dinner.
9 reporting, K7. Miss Drake and I have just returned from the Far East. We have repaid our debt to Mr. Wong. A traitor whom we were asked to find was located and identified. He met the justice of the East. The case is closed. Throughout history, there have been those willing to betray their country for gold. But few traitors have lived to enjoy their ill-gotten gains. Loyalty is its own reward. Death is the reward of treason. Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking. Thank you.